Hey guys, I'm outside again, so the birds would be chirping and all that jazz, but I got home today from getting the kids from school and oh yeah, I had some packages. Don't you just love it when you get home to packages? Anyway, let's start with a Bath and Body Works. <clears throat> Unfortunately, one of my candles arrived broken, but don't fret about it because yes yes tomorrow thursday april 16th hallelujah i'm going to knoxville and i'm going to get to go shopping and bath and body works will be a stop since i've got a broke candle anyway they had their candles two for 24 but i've been hoarding a coupon that was like 20% off plus free shipping. So I used it on two of these Limoncello or whatever candles. Mm, lemon, sweet lemon. Yes. Uh, lemons, cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest. Uh, I'm so simple when it comes to candles. I like lemon. <laughs> I like clean, fresh scents. I can't handle anything too sweet or too strong or musky or anything like that because it'll give me a headache. I just can't take it. So, love this. And I've been trying to burn one of these forever. It's like, because I'm not a huge candle burner, so mm, I like to just get a few when I get it on a good deal and burn them up. That way, whenever I want to get another one on a good deal, I can. I try not to go too crazy at the Bath & Body Works. So, recently they had a bunch of old favorites online for $6. And I got a peach and honey almond shower gel. And I've opened these, but I hadn't smelt it. So, I've never, I don't know what this smells like. Oh, yes, it smells good. I don't get it straight up in my nose. Peaches, mimosa flowers, and honeyed almonds wrapped in creamy vanilla and clementine. Ooh. And I did read the scent note, so... But I just thought this packaging was so cute. That's really what sold me was the packaging. And I also got the peach and honey almond triple moisture body cream because the packaging is so pretty. Yes. Mm. Fruity. I love fruity. Light fruity scents is my thing and ain't that so pretty oh so pretty and i got the peach and honey almond lotion because of the packaging this is so cute i can just set it out in my bathroom or my kitchen or whatever and just use it when i want to it's the packaging for real like i will save these and probably refill them because they are just too cute so pretty uh, packaging gets me I'm telling you oh and I was going to tell you since I got this out of the little thing they ship it in um, and smells it I was gonna say if you want to know what this smells like it smells like just the same as this Burt's Bees sweet lemon uh, soy wax melt that I got from Walmart and I'm not the biggest fan of these the way they burn in particular and I'm not a big you know melter or anything but I'm not the biggest fan um but it does smell a whole lot like this candle so just so you know um anyway moving on and then of course they give me some coupons yeah yeah suck them in for next time okay then we have Sephora and I had placed some orders from Sephora because I knew I was fixing and gonna, I was going to be going to Sephora and there was some things I wanted to get and I wanted to be able to see if they'll work, especially like shade wise before I'm fixing to go. So if I know if I have to exchange them or whatever. Um, and I mean, I don't feel bad about taking stuff back to anywhere because I know <laughs> as a business owner that I do feel bad when companies throw stuff away or destroy it or whatever to the products, but that's on them. Um, you know what I mean? 
it doesn't cost them anything because they it's all tax deductible. They write it off. You know what I mean? So yeah, the products get trashed, but better them to trash it and get to write off the cost than it's sitting at my house and eventually winding up in the trash and me eating the cost. Feel me? Okay, so I got the Becca Mineral Powder or Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. And I'm so nervous about the shade. Oh my gosh, it comes in a little pouch. So cute. I uh, hope I chose the right shade. It's got a little powder puff. Love the packaging. And uh, it doesn't look too bad. Mm, I don't know. Uh, did I do good? I don't know. Ooh, I'm afraid to touch it. Ah, uh, that feels really nice. Oh, I think I did good. Actually, I think I might have could have went a little darker, but... Anyway, uh, I'm so excited. I was so afraid to be too dark. I can handle a little too light, but too dark, I can't handle. So, mm, I'm so excited to try this. Oh, so excited to try this. And tomorrow is actually the 16th, and I'm a VIB. And that's when the sale starts for the VIB, which I wasn't... If I didn't have to go out of town anyway for a doctor's appointment, I wouldn't be making a special trip just because of 15%. Because I don't think that Sephora is the best place to buy stuff. Um, buying stuff... If you want to save yourself money, buy stuff from places that don't charge you the tax. You know what I mean? A lot of times, if you'll go to the actual website of the store, like Becca, they won't charge tax because they don't have a store in your state. You know what I mean? So, that saves 10%. You know, anyway, just not the best just another something to think about whenever, you know. Anyway, plus I got these Ardency in Americana Custom Coverage Concentrate. And I got the shade Light Beige. And again, I don't know if it's going to work or not. But these are like those Cover FX Custom Cover, Custom Color Drops or whatever. Um, I don't know why I chose these instead of those. I just thought I would give them a whirl and see and it's I heard uh, somebody say no on Beautypedia they reviewed the custom cover drops and gave them a four star rating and said that if you want to uh, mix this with a moisturizer any of these kind of drop things where you add it to your moisturizer or you put it in a foundation to boost the coverage if you're going to add it to a moisturizer go a little darker than your shade because the white or whatever the moisturizer is going to lighten the shade of the drops which this looks like the perfect shade for me oh my gosh i cannot believe how great i'm doing on my shade guessing Woo, i'm excited about those and I got the Kat Von Du Shade and Light Eye. I was so afraid that this would be sold out online by the VIB Rouge Huzzies. <laughs> Which, I can't say anything because I'm like $160 away from becoming a VIB Rouge myself. Um, anyway, it comes with a booklet, which is cool. Oh, ooh, I've been wanting her contour palette, but... When I seen Tara Baby Z haul this, I was like, I've got to have it. I've got to have that. That is, yes, I've been dying for a Kat Von D palette, but none of them really spoke to me. You know what I mean? If you want this watched fully, go watch Tara Baby Z. She did a haul where she swatched it. She used it, I believe, in a tutorial. But I'm also thinking that I might be able to use some of these shades to contour with. Not 100%. Mm, I don't know. Probably not looking at it. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. And I'm not sticking my fingers in this and messing this up because it is too pretty. I'm sorry. There's plenty of swatch videos out there. But oh. Ooh, this will never leave my grubby little hands because it is gorgeous. Oh, I'm just so pleased. I'm so happy to have this. Ooh, uh. And I am trying to go on a no eyeshadow mine thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't need any more eyeshadow, so I'm trying to 
real around in. <laughs> but anyway, I got two of these uh, Living Proof Curl Duos. These are the samples. Uh, curl Divine Cream and the Curl Conditioning Wash, which I love both of these. Yes, yes. And I got a Kat Von D Locket Foundation Sample in Light 48, which is probably not the best shade. And I don't know, I may pass this on. And, oh, something I was super excited about was the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution Lipstick Sampler. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I've got to get this out and play with it. This Lady Flower shade is gorgeous. I don't know what anybody's supposed to do with that right there. You know, who wants... Anyway, moving on. Excited. Ugh. I know I would love these because I'm all about the barely there life, you know. <laughs> I'm not about... You know, having to worry about where your lipstick is precisely laying and everything saying where it's supposed to stay. So, I'm sure I would love those lipsticks, but I have... I need to do a lipstick lip product declutter because there's way too much going on. I don't use, but a handful of them. And then I got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and then the Super Primer, which I love this Super Primer. It's really good. It reminds me a lot of the Hourglass one and it's half the price. Then I got a Bare Minerals um, sample, just a sample of the original Bare Minerals, which is awesome because I've been wanting to try Bare Minerals because I never have. So this is cool. And I got another one of the Clinique things and another one of the lipstick samplers and the Dior Jador perfume sample. Let's smell it. I'm afraid to spray it on me. Uh, it smells good. Yeah, I don't know if it would become too strong as I wore it, but I really like the smell of it. You know, I can't handle scents. I have a, that little bitty deluxe thing of Clinique Happy, and man, that's I forgot how strong that jazz is because ugh, I can squirt it like like in the middle, <laughs> like on my belly, one little squirt. Is all I can handle because I'm trying to go through that. I'm trying to go through with what, what I have before I buy any more perfume. Um, I'm not big on it, but for some reason, I buy it. You know, I've got to reel myself in. Oh, and I got Immaculate, the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation in Light Beige. I'm excited to try this. And another one of these. <laughs> I've got like three of those. And this Yves Saint Laurent. Touche clap. Mmm. A $40 highlighting pen. You know, psh, tch, tch. I don't know about all that, but if there's magic in these little things, then who knows? I might go there. <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you. I cannot wait to go tomorrow uh, shopping. I have not been in a month. I'll just go once a month. Ulta and, Ulta and Sephora. Which I don't even know if I'll go to Ulta. I really want the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. But depends on how much time I got. Since I gotta go to Bath and Body Works. I've got a broke candle. Blah, First world problems. But anyway. I've been trying to keep my hair up out of my face. I need to have it cut and colored. I've got my gray growing in. I love yous. I appreciate yous. Let me know if you've picked up anything recently or whatever. Yes, today's tax day, so you know that I'm done and it's over with and it's in the mail and it's postmarked and all that jazz. So I'm back to trying to be a halfway good YouTuber and, you know, get in with y'all and Instagram I want to know what y'all think about Instagram I don't even never even been on Instagram and been thinking about it hard so let me know I love you I appreciate you and I will see you real soon